uh, I'm gonna lighten up a little bit on Battle Mech NFTs. It's just that for supporting Ukraine is uh, relief and and uh, medical supplies is a good thing. But when it seems like they didn't clarify that they're not arming militia or something like this, like they're they're gonna buy them plates of armor. It's like you're still encouraging people. To, I mean, at least joining the militia is better than throwing Molotov cocktails or trying to stand in front of tanks because protesting over there is different than protesting over here. Like they shot this guy's arm and leg up. Pro protesting, You're trying to stand in rows and shit. You know, flash banged and then shooting in the air, and then then they'll sh take, they'll pick somebody off. And uh, we can't tell them to do that and then play with a battle mech and say, I'm standing with you playing with my battle mech and uh, hoping that it becomes rare and collectible. That's he's like, but I mean, it supplies and shit, that's good, that's good and I'm not going to say that they're doing any more than that. I really have nothing to go on to say that they're buying bullets or anything. You know, I was just making the comparison to what your contribution is to, to one armor piercing tank round, which is $10,000 each, right? And, uh, you know, like people are, are saying, like, that you you should go enlist or it's brave or something like that and what concern it just what concern is it, it what concern of it is ours like we we've been world policing and nation building and now we only ever build ISIS now it's like if we it's like a fish rots from the lips so if you can try, if you want to put the old guard autocracy up to nation building, you're asking Hunter Biden and Joe, you're asking the Bidens. And uh, it's it's like the fix is already in the mind. They already made up their, their mind. And it's like, They're gonna uh, burn it all down. <clears throat> uh, I think everybody knows. I think everybody can. I mean, it's just like. Is there really anybody left to try and convince? Then they already made up their mind too. It's like uh, some somebody in the store fucking looking like forcefully looking with their they had their mask on me and they were like, like can't you see, I'm wearing a mask, like just the just to like yesterday. Like leaning over the counter and like looking at me like mask, hello. And I was like, people that wall themselves away from information later on they want to tell other people how to live. And uh media is a problem because it appeals to those and it's not really listening or talking to anybody who's who is aware uh, they know about you you know what I'm saying they're just gonna like pretend you they don't know and uh it's like <laughs> like like dismiss you real quick but uh fucking they're 
doing it for somebody who's not able to even process like you are. So then if I if I act like there's somebody I still got to convince and they know, then they're just like, and fuck that shit. Uh, they get 10 strike, you know, they get to whiff away, like, fucking pitching 10, sh 10 balls at them. 10, shit. They just, they just swing until they hit. They just swing until they get a hit. Everybody gets three strikes, they can swing and swing and swing and swing. And they don't have the attention span for or focus for one scam at a time, for more than one scam at a time. This is like when they go into an, another racket, another different game, they just abandon the last one. And then they leave these people mad because the Archon's not eating that kind of food anymore. Like they were the food for the Archon, their emotions and everything it was the energy. Uh, and uh, they're mad that the Archon is not uh, eating that delicacy anymore. Like they were tenderized to be made a delicacy and then it's now, it's taste, it's palate, whatever has been like upgraded and it's looking for the new, the new delicacy. And uh, this is old, I mean, We've been talking about this for a minute. But I mean, just cause you can swing until you hit doesn't mean that you can, uh, like like they can come up, they, they, some, they have to find it. Some, someone has to it, like disco discover it because their shit's old. You know, like people don't watch Jerry Springer anymore, even though Jerry Springer's always off the hook. If he if they made a Jerry Springer today, it would be off the hook, but people would run out of time patience for him. Um like internet blood sports. It's not, like people are like over it's over. Uh it's still gonna be infotainment and there's still gonna be cringe, you know? That's crazy. Cause uh, the m mainstream legacy press decides how they are going to talk to people. They decide how, like what parameters that they will address already. And that's why they're talking about that Putin not being afraid to take the first punch because that is the only way that they're willing to talk to us, even when it would take an event like a barracks blowing, getting blowed up or something to kick it off. And so like, it's like, as soon as like, they feel like the people have been desensitized and they'll slip it in, it'll happen. They'll fucking blow some up some American assets. And then uh, look for a bad guy. You know what I mean? Like OJ. Like OJ Simpson, I'm going to find the real killers. I'm just going to go through that again. And then everybody think they know something. And the people that wall themselves in and tell other people what's acceptable. Then. How, how it's going to be fun, man. You know, it's just that uh, how how much more can they abuse those lemming, like the the the, the sheep? Like how much more shit? Cause they're gonna be looking on like we see through shit too. You know what I mean? But they're still fucked up, you know. <clears throat> These people lose base basis with the 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 words that they're using and shit. And these lawyers and this legal east shit. How they come at a con. Conjun uh, conjunctive words like the words that bridge other words together and they know that you can toggle with that shit on and off like is and if and 
shit like that. Uh, that's crazy because it's just like we're. That's why they like gal galvanization for polarization and want to do it here, because it would be easier. You don't have to lead on too much, you know, and then just come in at the end like save you like from crisis. <clears throat> Until they don't need it on no more. Then it's a bio biometrical like uh, interactive uh side effect that they're gonna use on people. Damn. I just I mean there's just like it seems like the, since you can imagine it that it's gonna happen. Not because it's a conspiracy theory, but because you can imagine it, and if it was ever op considered optimal, even by some idiot, even by an idiot, they might consider it optimal. Then maybe somebody with dementia. Because <clears throat> people with dementia do this cruel shit, too. I mean, how could you think that because we have technological error or something in regulations that there wouldn't be somebody above the law uh, shit? I mean, so because Putin is not above the law, then I'm, I must be supporting and all that shit. They're just trying to get up and trying to act like they're more support. And I am by doing battle mech, uh, and uh, and telling citizens to go stand in front of the tanks. We support you. It's crazy, man. We'll remember you. Uh, fucking don't. You could just join, just join the militia, just join the militia shit. Uh, even though it's not good advice, you know, what I mean? it's like. There's a way that I gotta get that shit off my chest though, because uh, does that shit really do anything? Aren't they just emasculating? So that that word doesn't have any energy to it right now, like because you it's been used by people like Lori Lightfoot and shit like that, or because. People think that it's one way, like only, only uh, men can emasculate. That that doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? I don't think you even understand the word. The def what is the definition? It just means that you go over paternalism, natural paternalism. There's no courtroom. To say that you're uh, not rocking with the interest that you have made an agree with agreement, right? You make an agreement. That's the way you're supposed to 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 rock. So, changing your agreement, you're hiding the 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 dope and the guns and the tick will be Elmo bag. You know what I mean? I mean? She said, like, I don't want you to do that. And they're like, no, hold on. I'm going to do this. Hold on. You're emasculated. It doesn't mean that you're, like, macho and shit. You're just no longer paternalism. You're the state power. Now you're, just, you're uh, an agent. Man, when am I going to make a video about something new? that people don't already know, then make it spooky dooky when it's not enthralling. You don't need words like choice, few per choice words to put together to mean something else. Uh, what about sociopath adjacent, terminally online, my, uh, and, uh, 
mass formation psychosis then instead of you know because cons conspiracy is already a word you don't need conspiracy theory you need that like a crutch or something to say that it's just people you want to summarize everything and then everybody must be a fucking idiot now what uh <clears throat> it's like uh, just saying like okay B.O.B. must be a flat earther and it's, it's like you know what I mean it's like people giving off bad information and shit because uh, compartmentalization only thing you know is that until I get the perspective that I can say without a doubt that I know the flat earth, I only lean towards one more than the other. And uh, it's a liter literary occult reference to uh, writers who uh, can't, who, uh, under the belief system of flat earth that they came up with something and it could even be uh fiction it's not about theories and shit sometimes it's like a work of fiction um admiral bird journey to the center of the earth or something like that like that's not to be taken literally but just by bringing that up, you're now a fringe conspiracy theory. When we never had a flat earth model until the United Nations gave us the, the, the no, it's a, yeah, the United Nations gave us the UN map. That was the first flat earth model ever in history. The UN is the flat earth. And uh, they're the ones that put out that flat earth stuff in advance for people to uh, um, come up with stratagems about how it's uh, obvious and you should be able to process what they're saying or you're a dumbass, right? And so it's just easy to hate the flat earth people. And to this day, they're just an ongoing joke. But the thing is, I don't know for sure that it's not... I mean, it is flat as far as you could see, right? It doesn't, that's not an argument for the entire world, the entire um, planet is flat. If you back up and look at it, it's just that we have to go that, to that extent and B.O.B. was doing that. He was trying to, he was investing in trying to send uh, weather balloons and shit up there. And so people thought that's weird because he was trying to get a picture of the curve. You know what I mean? And shit, weather balloon and get up there until it's all dark until it looks like you're in space and it's still flat. And you just wonder about, is it the curvature of the lens? And, and even if, even if it turned out to be the curvature of the lens and it was flat, it still could be a glow. Tell you back away far enough. <clears throat> um, if you go out into the universe uh, far enough past everything that we know to exist in nebulas and galaxies and shit, uh, it's only you out there. <laughs> There's nothing left except for you past that. <clears throat>